Hi guys, I'm in Whitby today and I thought it'd be interesting to show you the locations where Bram Stoker got his inspiration for Dracula. So everybody's heard of Dracula and I'm sure there'll be some people out there who would be really interested in seeing you know the scenery where Bram Stoker you know conjured up his um, Dracula novel so I hope you enjoy this video and uh, here we go <laughs> Bram Stoker wrote his famous Dracula story while looking out over this harbour here in Whitby. Much of the Dracula tale takes place here in Whitby. His ship was wrecked on the beach on the Now, come inside and experience the Dracula story. And I bid you welcome, Mr. After traveling to Castle Dracula in Transylvania, Jonathan Harker is held prisoner by the hypnotic charms of Dracula's female vampires. Meanwhile, Dracula plots to take over the soul of Jonathan's fiancée, Mina. After traveling to Castle Dracula in Transylvania, Jonathan Harker is held prisoner by the hypnotic charms of Dracula's female vampires. Meanwhile, Dracula's <laughs> wild and wretched Redfield. Who's this? Dracula's cloak, worn by Christopher Lee. Asylum, deep spiders and flies. Dracula's ship, the that's a mad doll, that, isn't it? That, that's the um, same plot from the film. This is the boat coming up to Whitby Harbour. Through we go. Ho 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 ho! Whitby Harbour! storm which came from nowhere. The ship is wrecked on Tainted Sands under the shadow of Whitby Valley. Yeah, running around the Whitby Bram Stoker, three quarters of Whitby on numerous occasions. Around five years of first visit, the Persian Naval Slash. Stoker spent six more years on his novel. Dracula is a shore in the form of a huge black dog. So, where did he come from? For centuries, we've been full of lifting fear. Yeah, yeah. Watch this step. The living never think what? that their lives will come to an end. But all it takes is one touch from me. <laughs> you have escaped my grasp. For now. <laughs> Jesus. Here we go. Oh, God. Gary Oldman's here. How you doing, Gary? You all right? You got... I am. You got to... Don't worry. I will return with you soon enough. Ah, there you are. 
Dracula leaps from the ship and up the 199 steps to the graveyard near the ruins of Kippy Alley. You are near there now, the Torrance Steps. The viewers will be inspired to listen to the two of suicide. And then the concept is the vision of that. That's um, the only comment apparently in the in the book. When he gets on with the arbor, he turns into a dog yeah. and comes off into a wolf. Vampires do exist. And this one we fight, this one we face, has the strength of 20 or more people. Lucy's living with that by the battle of the trying desperately to bring her back. Vampires do exist. Oh, this one we fight, this one we face. Has the strength of 20 or more people. And you can testify for that, Mr. Harper. Van Helsing. Vampires do exist. enjoyed the uh, quick tour around uh, the Dracula experience what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at the locations that Dracula saw when he first arrived in Whitby and we want to see the inspiration for Bram Stoker's novel so we're gonna have a look at the Abbey we're gonna see the steps and we're gonna see the port, the harbour where Dracula arrived when he first came to Whitby. But now so, here guys are the gothic streets where Bram Stoker would have walked and he would have basically put this imagery into his book. So well, let's have a little look at these streets. This is the exact spot where he arrived. 
came off the boat, walked over here, and then he made his way to the 199 steps. So that is where we're going to go now, and we're going to go up those steps, and we're going to check out the castle, and we're going to have a look at the abbey. All these influenced Bram Stoker, and he included this into the novel. So once Dracula had made his way to the beach and disembarked to the ship, he would make his way up here towards the 199 steps, towards the abbey. And this is what I'm about to tackle now. So when we get to the top of here, we'll have a little look. <laughs> So I've made it to the top of the 199 steps. Now what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you the true Gothic architecture and the surrounding scenery. This is the key inspiration for Bram Stoker into his novel. Okay, so if you just look at the castle there, it's alleged that Bram Stoker saw bats hanging from the corner underneath the you know underneath the ledges you know and this was his bat influence you can see the the abbey in the distance you know that looks like the traditional Transylvanian castle you know that would have been like Bram Stoker's that I would include that that is where Dracula lived in Transylvania you know all these you've got the gravestones the classic gothic grains you know every, everything everything Bram Stoker included in the novel has now become this you know your stereotypical Halloween decorations you know everything he included you know we've got Bram Stoker to thank for many of our pop culture references you know I mean just look at that stunning Whitby you can understand why Brown Stoke would have loved a year apparently he spent six months here in preparation for writing such an iconic character as Dracula you know such iconic I know people will live in America and overseas you all know you will all know Dracula and what he looks like but here is the inspiration here is the groundworks for that novel and it's absolutely incredible just look at the gravestones these would have been here when Bram Stoker was walking these streets let's go and take a closer look at the Abbey This is a good look for you guys at this abbey. Have a look at the architecture. Absolutely sensational. You know, the imagery. I'm just gonna let you guys soak it in, so just let just film. Just look at the stunning, iconic, the inspiration. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. 
So those familiar with the 2020 BBC drama or reboot of the Dracula story, you may recognise this building behind me. And this building is where they captured Dracula and they brought him to the basement of this building. So that, it's quite interesting they used that building really but I just thought I'd add that in there because I know people would have watched that series and you will recognize this building it's pretty crazy um I'm gonna wrap this video up now I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you've seen some sights and you know you've, you've, you've actually envisioned and seen the you know where it all began and you've seen it with your own eyes brought to you by me so I hope you've enjoyed this and it's a little bit different for you so, um, you know, leave me a comment if you liked it and leave it a thumbs up and uh, I will see you soon.